medium I really enjoy working with is painting, um, mostly acrylics. And I really love nature, untouched natural scenery um, is one of my just favorite um, joys to paint. Uh, the one you're looking at now was really inspired by um, a, a scene on Long Island, but it, it eventually evolved into something that I saw upstate, in upstate New York. And it's, it really could be a, a dawn or a sunset, but it was more intended to be a morning, uh, to capture a morning scene. And really, I didn't take any classes for painting. Uh, I did in high school for about two weeks, but I really didn't like being taught how to paint. I, I believe that uh, someone's natural ability should be brought out on their own and not someone else's techniques. So I painted on my own. I did watch uh, Bob Ross's The Joy of Painting, which I really loved to watch and how he would talk about happy little trees and uh, he, he really um, inspired me to paint very freely. And oh, up until last year, I, I painted off and on on my own, but I decided to take a class um, at the high school. It was an adult continuing education class and with uh, Karen Fellows. And really, I took that just to, I, I needed some encouragement at the time. So I took her class, and I'll show you one of the paintings I did with her class in a little while. The one you're looking at now is just uh, well, it's another nature scene, um, a winter scene, obviously. And I wanted to uh, make it a little different by putting lace around it instead of uh, a wooden frame. And I, I think the lace really adds to the, the winter, the, the cold. Uh, it, it brings out on another level. And again, it was inspired by upstate, pretty much, or right here on the North Fork. Um, just, again, natural scenery. Lisa, this I really like. Let me hear the Lisa Dabrowski trademark. Well, and now for something completely different, which, which actually I got from Monty Python. I have to give him them credit for it. But anyway, um, it kind of works for this situation. I used to do a lot of maze art uh, all through grade school. It was something I just developed on my own, um, all freehand. When I start drawing, I never know exactly what it's going to turn out to be. Um, and just just try to make it flow. And this one I did back in 1994. Uh, again, all freehand, except for uh, up in the corner here, I did uh, trace a, a bottle. But it really starts off with a peace sign, and you can go different ways through life. And I try to also put different images in the image itself. Uh, this one has a fish right in here. And some waves, and this is um, a tree on this side for, for the land. So you have the water, uh, life, and peace. And just, again, something I start off with not knowing what it'll be, and it develops on its own, and it, there you have it. Okay, the one you're looking at now is one that I started in uh, while in Karen Fellows' class. Um, the first one I did in her class was more of a mystical seascape. And I really wanted to do something completely different again. And I went with a primitive style, and I wanted bold colors. And this one was inspired by um, North Fork Farms. And it was something I just uh, enjoyed doing. I wanted to add my little sheep in there. Um, it's really acrylic and pen on artist board. Um, it shows a lot of detail. I tried to outline the, the smaller um, items with pen to bring them out. There's a little weather vane. I don't know if you can see that up top. 
and some curtains in the windows and some clothes on the line. And the tractor, of course, is out in the field. Um, just uh, one of my favorite sceneries also. One of my grandfathers, uh, my father's father, Machisla, um, he passed away long before I was born. But in the basement, uh, in the cellar of the house, there was uh, reed and wicker materials still around. And in, when I was a little girl, um, it was something my grandmother kind of taught me to do, was make little bird's nest baskets. And I started doing that actually with um, long blades of grass that were in the yard. And then I used some of the wicker. And she also taught me caning and rushing chairs. But one of the things I really liked doing was making baskets. And this was um, the type that I would make. This was a recent one I made, but um, it's similar to that style. And then also, uh, on my own, I learned to make larger baskets. And basically pretty simple designs um, of larger sized reed and uh, splints. And then also, uh, I really liked the old fashioned pack baskets, the Adirondack pack baskets that people use for trapping and other um, activities. So I wanted to make that style. And I, again, start off on my own with this one. But for the one on the right, I did get a, uh, an actual kit for this one. It came with the, the strap and, and such. And they um, kind of give you a little bit of directions to do it. When I was making this one, it it took a long time, and I had to keep uh, soaking the, the basket and trying to shape it, and this is kind of what it turned out to be. This was my first try at, at making one like this, so, but it's another enjoyment of mine. <laughs>